said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. I need somebody with arms strong enough to wrestle a calf and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to call hogs, tame cantankerous machinery, come home hungry, have to wait lunch until his wife's done feeding visiting ladies, then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon and mean it. So God made a farmer. Somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and break and disc and plow and plant and tie the fleece and strain the milk and replenish the self-feeder and finish a hard week's work with a five-mile drive to church. So God made a farmer. This is the story of 2018. There isn't anything special about this year. It's about the same as any before it. But this was the year that made me realize that growing up on a farm is special. Not many people can say that anymore. For a couple years now, I've been wanting to tell a story of what we do. So, this year, that's what I did. This is our harvest season. I think if there's one point I wanted to get across, it's that being a farmer is a blessing. There's always problems, of course. Something always seems to break down and needs fixing. But while it may be a blessing, that doesn't mean it comes without hardships. Photos like these don't need a lot of explanation. This is a day that I'll never forget. It hit our family hard, but it's also a testament to our strength and how we got to where we are today. A cup of coffee in the morning is a symbol to me. It says that no matter what happens or how much you have on your plate, you have to get up and keep driving forward. Two thousand and eighteen. There's no milestone, there's nothing special about this year, but I realize that maybe that's a good thing. Year after year, we keep on going and we're proud of that. We're proud of what we get to do. This is the harvest. So why would you sign up for this job? 
this dirty, smelly, long hours, sweat and tears kind of job? I think the answer is simple. We love what we do. That to me is what it means to be a farmer. 